In this lesson, we're going to discuss economic rent. And economic rent is the payment for a factor of production, such as labor. For all of these graphs, we're going to have W representing the vertical axis, which represents wages, and QL representing the horizontal axis, which represents the quantity of labor. In our first example, we have a perfectly inelastic supply curve of labor. This is a one-of-a-kind person, a one-of-a-kind individual. There are zero substitutes for this kind of labor. If a firm demanded more of this person, they are going to have to pay this person a much higher wage. We refer to this as 100% pure economic rent, and this type of labor is also referred to as the wage maker. You're the wage maker. You control your own destiny if you fall into this kind of a labor force. Now, over here, for this example, we have a relatively elastic supply curve. Most jobs fall into this category. If we demand more, or if a firm demands more of this particular kind of labor, well, our quantity would increase from QL to Q1, and our wages would also increase from W to W1. And this area in blue represents economic rent. This would represent medium-skilled workers, also specialized workers, and this area for our pure economic rent, highly skilled, highly specialized, one of a kind. Over here, we have more. You're more replaceable, but you're still able to command an increase in wage. And our final example, you can see that our supply curve is perfectly elastic meaning that there's an infinite number of substitutes for this particular kind of labor. This would be considered a low-skilled kind of job, a low-skilled labor force. As you can see, if a firm demanded more of this particular type of labor, the wage is going to stay fixed, but our quantity of labor is going to increase from QL to Q1. We refer to this as having zero or no economic rent because there is no wage increase. In this example, in this labor force, this could be our minimum wage jobs and you are referred to as the wage taker instead of the wage maker in this example. So from the beginning, we have a perfectly inelastic supply curve you are the wage maker. In our second example, we have a relatively elastic supply curve, able to make uh, higher wages, but not as much as over here. And in our final example, a perfectly elastic supply curve, zero wage increases, zero economic rent.